when you speak, your wisdom may be exposed when you speak. So also can your ignorance become manifest when you open your mouth. A wise man said, Solomon said, is that even the fool when he's quiet is thought to be wise. Come on, amen. You know, even a fool, when he's quiet, he's assumed to be wise. In today's world, until you send a post, you we'll think you are wise. If you don't write a post, we, we may not know how foolish you are until you write a post. You know, we may not know how ignorant you are until you do that video. Because if, if, you're, if you're looking at and people are dealing with racism. And if you are talking about any tribe, any nation, any people of human descent being superior to another, it's a manifestation of your ignorance. You know, you're just showing how ignorant you are. Just showing how unlearned you are. How much you are in the dark. How much you are in the dark. Talk about racial wars. There's only one race, human race. You know, there's only one. There's only one. For many years, they said that the black man was cursed. Even preachers preached that the black man was cursed. I mean, people look for the Bible what is wrong with the black man and they're looking into the Bible to find what is wrong with the black man then one came up and said I've, I've, I've suddenly found what is wrong with the black man why are you looking for the black man why are you looking through the scriptures to find a black man why are you looking when God came he dealt with mankind he dealt with mankind that is why when you are a babe, you have a black Christian, you have a white Christian, you have a Nigerian Christian, you have an American Christian, you have a European Christian. Look at it. So who are you? Which one is which? You let your natural descent to be what, 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 what now describes your Christianity. African Christian. So which one are you? If any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, when you read through the scriptures and you're looking for the Christian, you don't see a black Christian, you don't see a white Christian, you don't see an American Christian. When you look through the scriptures, what you find is a new creation. That's what you find. And if you find that new creation and you believe that Jesus, listen to, listen to me. I never have a problem. You know, there are people who say, oh, the, the pictures of Jesus are, is a white man with blue eyes. So that's racist. It's because you never met Jesus. It's because you never met him. You are looking at the paintings of an artist to find Jesus there. You won't find him. So what do we do? So what do we do? Okay, let's change the paintings of uh, Michelangelo and all those artists. And let's now paint Jesus black. So what would the Indian do? I, think, I, can't, I can't relate with this one. I can't, I can't relate with him. You know, this Jesus has Afro. I can't really relate with him. I need, I need Jesus. I need Jesus that is like Indian. So what would the Chinese do? Oh no, his eyes are too gold. His nose is too bright, bright, um, 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 broad. I need a Jesus with... I can't relate with him. Because when you meet him, He's called the son of man. Son of man, Adam. 